everyone today we'll learn how to convert decimal into fractions let's begin steps to convert decimal to fractions first step is remove decimal point and write the number without decimal as numerator so for example we have a decimal number 16.12 we'll just remove the decimal and write this number as it is as a numerator now step 2 will tell us about the denominator denominator will be the place value of last digit of the decimal number for example we have 67.12 and here you can see this is the decimal part the last digit of this decimal part is 2 and the place value of 2 is hundreds so denominator will be hundreds that is denominator will be 100 or like this like we'll write this number as it is that is 6712 by 100 or the other ways count the number of digits after decimal so you can count this is one this is two so there are two digits after decimal it means in the denominator two zeros will come with one so it's very easy just remember after decimal count the number of decimal digits so this is one two digits two zeros will come so either you write the place value or you count the digits answer will be same and correct this is the fraction you got but you can also get the improper uh, sorry mixed fraction with this so 67 is a whole number and 12 is your decimal part you already know before decimal we have a whole part after decimal we have a decimal part so we'll take 67 as the whole number 12 by denominator will be 100 as it is either you count the number of digits after decimal or you write the place value of the last digit of this decimal part so it's 67 whole number 12 by 100 easy so let's do this with more examples you will understand better and in last express the fraction in the simplest form so whatever the question like whatever the fraction you'll get you have to reduce it to the simplest form. Then only you'll get your fraction. Okay, let's start with the example. Convert the following decimals to fractions. So we have the example here 0 0.3. So we have to write it into fraction. So first of all, write this without decimal. That in 0, 3 will be 3 only. Yeah, so I'll write 3 in the numerator. And in the denominator, just after decimal, count the number of digits. This is one digit only. So, 1, 0 will come with 1. That is 3 by 10. Or either you check out the place of 3. That is 10th place. So, in denominator, 10 will come. So, we have 8.7. So, let's write the mixed fraction first. It's the easy. Because before decimal, we have the whole part. After decimal, decimal part. 8 is the whole number. And 7 divided by. What will come in the denominator? So, let's see the place of 7. That is tens it means denominator will be 10 or either you remember that after decimal we have one digit so one zero will come so eight eight whole number seven by ten if we are writing other way so 87 write the full number without decimal 87 by 10 45.9 so 45 is the whole number nine is the numerator and denominator will be after decimal count the digits it's one digit so it means denominator i'll have only one zero that is 10 so 45 whole number 9 by 10 and the other way 459 459 by 10 just write down the numerator add as it is without decimal c part uh sorry it's the other a part 0 0.07 so in this 0 0.07 again you write this number without decimal point it's 007, you just write down 7. And after decimal, count the number of digits. 1, 2. So how many zeros will come in the denominator? That is 2 zeros with 1. So 7 by 100. Other way to learn, place value of 7 is hundreds. So 7 by 100. That, that is the other way. Okay, 36.23, write down in the mixed fraction. Why we are not writing this in the mixed? Because it's 0 in the whole part. So here we have some number 36. So we'll write, we can write this in the mixed fraction. 36 is the whole part. 23 is the numerator. And what will the denominator? Just count the number of digits. 1, 2. So two zeros will come in the denominator that with 1. So 36, whole number 23 by 100. So let's write the other fraction. 
So we'll write this number, decimal number without decimal. So 3,623 divided by 100. 445.19, very easy. 445 is your whole part. 19 divided by after decimal how many digits are there two digits so 100 will come two zeros will come in the denominator so other way 44,519 divided by 100 just write down this number whole number without decimal by count the number of decimal places one two so two zeros will come or either you write the place value of nine that is hundreds place. That's why denominator is hundred. So let's see more examples. 0 0.019 here. So 0 0.019. First of all, write down this as a numerator without decimal. So 0 0019, I can write 1990 because it means 19 only. And in the denominator, let's count one, two, three. Three zeros will come with one. That is 1,000. 19 by 1,000. Other way, what is the place value of 9 here? That is thousands. So, 1,000 will come in the denominator. B part. 8.297. 8 is the whole part. 297 in the numerator. Denominator will be how many digits are there after decimal? Three digits, three zeros. So, 8, th eight whole number. 297 by 1000. Other way, just write down this number as it is in the numerator 8297 divided by 1000. Easy. C part 619.003. So write this whole part 619 as a whole number and 3003 0, 0, means 3 only. 3 by how many digits are there? 1, 2, 3. And 3 place is also 1000. So 3 by 1000. 619 whole part, 3 by 1000. The other way of writing, do not write from here, else you'll get wrong. So you write from here only. So you'll see 619003. Write this number as it is. Just remove the decimal divided by 1000. So this is your fraction. This way you have done the mixed and the improper fraction. So it's your time to do some workout. This is the yes no question. Just check this. 2.109, when we convert it to fraction, do we get 219 by 100? So just check if it's correct, write down yes in the comment section. If it's wrong, write down no in the comment section. I will check how many of you understand this and will give the remarks. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like and don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications of our upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.